Right, this is killing me today, but I'm going to have a go anyway. Um, you see, this is the Roost Motorsport um, induction kit that goes down into the wing that I designed. As you see, slight bit of cutting needed in the wing for it to go through. Um, there she is. Just trying to get this torch in the right place to show you guys. There you go. Off oh, she goes down there and she goes in to meet the um, Ram Air induction kit. So, yeah, plug goes up there. Uh, I'm going to show you something. A lot of people ask Paul Bruce about the pipes and when they've ordered them afterwards they go, oh, what's that one? Where's that go? Now, when you buy the auxiliary kit, you see that one right down there, that little tiny one under the water pump. Now a lot of people don't know where that goes. So there you go, I'm officially showing you now where it goes, okay? It replaces that small pipe down there. If you want any advice on this piping from, from Roos, give me a shout and I will point you in the right direction. As you can see, there's more under here. Here we go, onto the thermostat, etc. Okay, like I say, got any, need the information, just give me a shout. I'm happy to talk to anyone. Um, so yeah, I've got the induction kit in. Oh, bit of a hard job, but I'm getting there, and I'll give you another update later on. Oh, just a quick one while I've got you. These clips, do not buy them from shows. They will charge you three times the price. Have a look for them on eBay. They look so much better than the very cheap um, sort of larger ones of these. So there you go. And you get a Dremel out and they polish up lovely. Yeah. And they look so much better, I think, than... I mean, you could always cut this off if you're not going to take um, the um, clip off again. But I, I like to leave some of mine long just in case. I've shortened that one a bit, as you can see. So, because it was catching. But there you go. A few tips there for you while I rebuild the engine bay. Take care. I'll see you on the next vid.